all right welcome to today's episode of uh advent of code um we're gonna be looking at day what 20 now day 21 even let's see how we can do it um take a bit of a break for yeah you know i've just been in iceland i've been able to go on nice walks with uh, lots of buddies that's been really nice you know i've been stuck in sweden for so long that you know i was it was a bit hard you know a bit hard to it was a bit hard you know i i didn't meet so many people but now i'm here and i've been able to meet so many people let me know i changed the audio a bit in the sense that i moved the microphone over here let me know if if you can hear it or not uh i hope i mean it looks like you can hear it and i can hear it in my ears but you never know huh okay let's see how does today's problem look like that's the question right hope it's not too bad i mean they've been getting harder and harder but are they gonna be super hard now day 21 is it super hard Let's um uh, let's see. Let's see the leaderboard. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's look at stats. Let's, let's see how many people have finished it. Ooh, not many people finished it. I mean, but it follows the curve, right? People just kind of stop. Let's see. Let's see if it's too hard for us. Okay, you reached a train. Okay, we got on a train. Seems legit. You reached the train's last stop and the closest you can get to your vacation island without getting wet. Aren't even any boats here, but nothing can stop you now. You build a raft. You just need a few days worth of food for your journey. Okay, you don't speak the local language, so you can't read any ingredients lists. However, sometimes allergens are listed in the language you do understand. You should be able to use this information to determine which ingredients contains which allergens and work out which foods are safe to take with you on your tip trip. Okay, so you have a list of foods. One food per line. Each line includes that food's ingredients is followed by some or all of the allergens the food contains. Okay, allergens aren't always marked when they're listed as in contains not self is the ingredient that contains each listed allergen will be somewhere in the corresponding ingredient list. However, even if allergen isn't listed, the ingredient that contains that allergen could still be present. Maybe they forgot to label it, maybe it was labeled in a language you don't know. Okay, I see. Hello, Searchy. What's up? You ready for some Haskell? It's gonna be good. All right, so okay, so you know, following with the food, this is fish, dairy, soy, fish. Okay, um, let's see. So here in this, so the, the the common denominator here between these two lists is dairy, right? So this has got to be dairy. Okay, and. Now this contains soy and this contains fish and you have S Q J H C in both of them, right? So that's That's gonna be fish and then this has to be soy, right? And if this is soy And, and this is there so we already kind of figured it out, right? While the food contain it, the other definitely contain okay First step is to determine which ingredients can possibly contain any of the allergens in the food in your list. In the above example, none of the ingredients kufsk, okay, or church contain an allergen. Counting the number of times any of these ingredients appear in any ingredients list produces five. They all appear once each except zbzv, which appears twice. Okay, so how determine which ingredients you cannot possibly contain any of the allergens in your list. How many times do any of these ingredients appear? 
Okay. It's gonna be a set theory stuff, right? Okay, let's see. Now we are going to open up. GTC. Let's open up a new day. Uh, right here. New folder. Day 21. Yeah, we stopped at day 16. Because on day 17, I got out of quarantine. So I've been busy. You know how it is. Okay, so day 21.hs. Module. Oh my god. Slow, right? Okay, save. Uh, new file. Searchy, is the is the audio okay? You think the audio is working good? I moved the microphone, so I'm hoping it's all good. But I haven't tried it. Let's see. This is our test input. And the result. Oh, great! It's really hard for me to monitor it because, like, I could I could monitor it. Wow. Thanks, Archie. I have a nice microphone. It's nice and fluffy, you see? Yeah, I went to, uh... I went to the, uh... We have, like, a zoo here. Except, like, it's only, like, farm animals. And, like, foxes and stuff. And I, I got, a, got to pet a uh, baby cow. Kind of like petting this microphone, you know? I like... I like... I like animals. We should name the mic, right? I would I would offer to have like a poll to name the mic. But then it would just get named, you know, Mike 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 Face. <laughs> you know, people on the internet, they're not to be trusted with polls, okay? Okay, so now we have a list of words. The order doesn't matter. So let's just take this list, right? And then we split it. Okay, we're gonna... So, get... Get input. I'm just gonna be file path to IO... IO string? No, IO... We're gonna have a list, a set of strings, right? So... Sarchi, what's your favorite programming language? Are you a Haskeller? Or are you in the dark side with the imperatist of qualified did I not set as set? This is gonna return us. It's gonna return a, a list of pairs of sets. Set string, set string. Now, get input equals. So we're gonna do a uh, two set, a uh, two a uh, a uh, set so two anchor list dart. That is a cool language. That's by like Google, right? They they defined a dart. Or no, so Google had Go. Who had Dart? I remember, it was like a it was like a cool cool. Cool kids who were using Dart. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it's cool. I looked into it a while ago. Uh, I mean, it's not it's not not my favorite, but it's a good stuff, you know. Uh, F map. So you like a you like a mobile developer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Because uh, like Dart, Dart is like for Android, right? That's like that's what they're supposed to be doing. Where to inger list this is gonna take a string and return a pair of set comma str set string comma set string. Yeah, so you can use can you use Dart on the back end as well. Or like, do people do that? Okay, so is Flutter is Flutter. That's a framework, right? That's not a... That's not a... Language, right? 
let's uh, let's split it split this right uh, span so we are going to take the words here um, do, 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 do. okay so it's gonna be uh, uh, v, so where vs so we is gonna be word so it's gonna be we're gonna get in a string here okay it's gonna be undefined okay so vs is gonna be word words of string so what is wrong here um yeah we're gonna map yeah yeah nice but like yeah but can you use can you use dart on the back end there's like is it like or like are people doing that Span. Uh, so we're gonna have here. Yeah, we're gonna have span. So this is gonna be uh, inkers and allergs. That's gonna. Uh, this, is, this is gonna be like this. This is gonna be span equals contains. And then, dun dun tsh 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 tsh. so the the ingredients are gonna be fine. So this is gonna be uh, from set uh, set dot from. It's gonna be from list fingers, and then a uh, two allergs of oh, allergs. Now, what does two allergs do? Uh, it's gonna be yes. Let's actually just merge these together because we never use the words otherwise. You use you use Dart for the front end and JavaScript for the back end. It's kind of opposite, right? Can't you like use React Native and like just use JavaScript on both? Or like is that is that not cool anymore so this is gonna be we're gonna be splitting a... okay here we're actually gonna be doing so we have the words allergs and you notice that it's either gonna end with a comma or it's gonna end with a uh, let's open the puzzle input let's let's see how they look So it's not gonna end with a comma or like a parenthesis opens, right? So comma, comma, okay, yeah, sweet. So we can literally just do oh, this is gonna be contains like this. We can literally just do map a drop wall. So we can just say so two allergs. It's just, uh, it's just, um, mat drop last, where drop last is gonna take in string and it's gonna take, turn the, uh, the init of the string, right? Oh, okay. I've been using, you know, I like React Native. Um, well, I haven't used it too much, actually. Uh, but I like it because it allows me to kind of write an app because I usually I usually so I usually program for iOS right because I have an, an iOS device so I program for iOS and uh, what I can do is that with the tail so there's a function that like uh, that's like in it and it's yeah it's gonna be good uh, this is just in it uh, so it's gonna be in it so yeah, I use it so yeah and then I can like write most of it in JavaScript right and I don't have to deal with uh, iOS development because it's just it's, it's harder for me to test that's the problem right I just wanna I just like opening up um, 
I just like opening up, you know, Chrome and just... I'm just using it. Wait, so, okay, what is wrong here? Now, this two allergs, that's gonna, that's supposed to take in. I think it doesn't know the types here. Two allergs can take in a, uh, yeah, a list of strings and gonna return me a set of strings. But, two allergs, two, two algers, all right, allergs. Alex, yeah, this is wrong. Also, nice. Now, let's see here. Main IO, main is do. Yeah, so have, have you tried a. Wait, can you, you can use Kotlin there too, like right? Kotlin iOS? No, Kotlin is like for Java. Yeah, that is, that is actually also for Android. But yeah, Swift has a lot of cool stuff. Input a test input and this is going to go into print and uh, We're gonna go to day 21 and we're gonna say GC 03 a uh, day 21 and And we have to do is like this because we're not actually on Linux. We're on uh, We're on we're on PowerShell here like in Windows Measure command a uh, day 21.exe And then we have to say out default Okay, let's see if we did it. Let's see if we managed to parse the test input uh, do, 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 do. Let's see uh, yeah, wait no contain Ugh. No, wait, this isn't good. So, uh, contain dairy fish. Oh, okay. How does the upper look? Contains. Okay, we didn't do the span correctly. Why does it say contain? Oh, yeah, I mapped. Huh. Let's see here now. Let's see. Trace show ID. We're gonna import debug dot trace here. Let's run it again. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I like I like Kotlin. I use it a bit. Uh, I use it a bit actually. So now it says contains. Okay, and I say equal equal contains and it's not it's not spanning, you know? Uh do I have to say oh yeah, this is supposed to be break. That's like the exact opposite of span. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work now. Uh, yeah, so now we have the ingredients and we have the allergens nice okay so how are we going to solve so this is going to be like a a constraint solver right um so now i think we have to like flip flip the sets so how did we know that How do we know? Okay, so let's let's like build up the the keys. Um, now we're gonna say here possibilities. It's gonna take in a list the set of strings. Set a string, and it's gonna return you know map string set of string. Now possibilities. Okay. So if I'm empty, I'm just gonna return map.empty. Now this is gonna be a bit slow, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be that slow. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna write it in a tail recursive. Okay, I'll, I'll just write it in a tail recursive way. It's gonna be fine. 
the uh, map as map so it's possibilities it's just gonna be it's gonna be possibilities prime of map dot empty classic now where possibilities prime is gonna be prime so far is going to be and then so far empty is equal so far possibilities a uh, prime so far and then uh, and then here we have you know ingers and allergs um, and then something more this is gonna be so here we're gonna for each of the allergs okay so we're gonna say fold l uh, some function and then the initial value is going to be so far and we're going to apply it to all the allergs okay and then we're going to say here add to map uh, where add to map is going to you know take an m so it's going to take an m and an allerg and and it's going it's so yet add, add to map it's gonna take a it's gonna take a, a you know set of of strings um and it's gonna take a now it's gonna take a map map of string to 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 set set string uh yeah they're blue they're blue exactly uh that's why they're so loud I have another one that has uh, like the silent red ones, the silent red switches, and they are, you know, they're decent. They're quite decent actually, but, but the thing is, uh, yeah, I use those when I have guests over and stuff that, you know, I don't want to bother them too much with the like noise of the keyboard, but I, this is quite nice, right? There's, I like I like the tactile feel. I really like the tactile feel. So here we're gonna have the the map, and then we're gonna have a string, and we're gonna return a map of string set of string. Now, add to map. So this is gonna be allerg, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say modify. Like we wanna. Hey, Gil Christian. Yes, Cersei. Ask, uh, ask something for me. I don't. Grammar is not quite on point. But what do you want to ask? Uh, modify data dot map modify. Yeah, I'm, I'm streaming a bit later. Where am I from? I am from Iceland. That's why keyboard looks like an Icelandic flag, right? Good stuff, no? Gil showing up it's one of my top viewers I think I think he's been in quite a lot of them right modify Ugh. wait there's something called modify right where I can like I can like update yeah update okay yeah update yeah exactly so I take I take the yeah so update update the value exit K if X is not an element is deleted the expression update with key update so update takes the yeah so we are gonna say modify it's gonna be modify uh i i wanted this to be i want this to be string map string string uh, yeah, Iceland is a bit cold, but you know, not as cold as you'd think. We have um, we have quite good like a like a climate here, like because of the Gulf Stream. So <laughs> nice. Uh, so it's not it's not too bad actually. Now let's see. Add to map. I think is it because I should be full Ring here. Uh, expected type map set of string add to map um, what is the type of fold I always I always forget the map of fold L <laughs> uh, 
Okay, we're actually gonna say adjust here. Do I have to fold R? Yeah. L or is too many L's here? Okay, now I'm folding R. Yeah, but it's because I want to use adjust immediately. That would be nice, right? Um, what is wrong here? Um... Okay, this is gonna be the fold R is gonna be <laughs> uh, the fold R is gonna be a bit slow, but you know it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Well, no, okay. Let's let's fold L. Let's not do it the bad way. We'll just flip this function. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're gonna fold L, add to map, fun, map, but just fun, where, so the fun is going to take in cursed, and what we're gonna do is that we are going to say that this is, the result of this is gonna be, uh, let's see, set dot intersection, uh, it's gonna be set dot intersection with the ingredients. Okay, so now let's see here. Print, and then we say possibilities. Let's see what happens. Um, no, this is VS Code actually, because I'm, I'm I'm programming on Windows. Like my usual driver is a Linux machine. Uh, I I know it, but I, I'm trying to keep, I try to keep things simple on this stream. So I, I don't go too much into lenses and stuff. It's, uh, it becomes a little much actually. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Fold L, add to map so far allergs. So, uh, so far prime is going to be that right so that's how i update it there's going to be possibilities prime of so far prime rest i didn't i didn't do anything did 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 oh adjust also right the thing with adjust is that it only adjusts the things in the um yeah all right so the update the update updates the value x at k. Okay, so I think I said, I think I say alter. So this should be alter. Now this fun of just s supposed to be the set of the ingredients now. Okay, fun of nothing is going to be ingers. Uh, but this one uh, this is going to be just, and then this is going to be just. I think I think uh, I think this should be good. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Okay, so dairy can be this one, right? That was the one we found out. Fish could be either of these two. And soy could be either of these two. Um, and what does it say? In the above example, none of the ingredients KFCDS or TRH can contain any aller can contain an allergen, right? Hmm. So we figured out which one is dairy by doing the intersection. We figured out which one can be fish. But so you see. 
so either of these two could be soy right um and either and this one so fish could be either of these two i know this could be either of these two okay so now okay now we found the possibilities now we have to take the we have to like do the do the solution right Fish is definitely going to be, you know, SQ and then soy is going to be FWJKL, right? Do we even need to do that? Let me just check here. Um, okay, so what if we just do uh, map dot elements and map and set dot from list. Let's see, let's see what happens here. Oh, map.lms and then we do can cat. Um, this is what's wrong with this. So we got the elements and then let's just see what the map.elements is. That should be a list of sets of strings, right? Yeah, this is a And we take a union of all those sets and let's see what happens nice okay so solution it's gonna be it's gonna take you know the the uh, the input load which is a list of set of string comma set of string it's gonna turn it in right so solution what is solution gonna do here? Solution is gonna be a very p. Uh, uh, so imp p equals possibilities of imp. Okay, so and then we have alerts is gonna be the set dot unions of the map dot lms of p. Right. Okay, and then we are going to say uh, this is going to be a set now, and then we're going to say okay. So take all the ingredients and filter out the ones in allergs. Right. So we're going to say a non al orgs is going to be a map set dot intersection with alerts and it's going to be the first of the input right and then we say a sum so this is going to be sum of the, the map set c 
set dot size on non alergs I think let's see see what happens <laughs> oh yeah and then we have to run solution here let's see what happens We get eight. And now, oh, this is be, this would be difference. Exactly, not. The ones who are not allergs, right? Save it, run it again. Oh, now we get four. Hmm, let's see. This one will be trace show ID, right? Okay, and now we're gonna trace show ID a non alerx Okay, do 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 for F W J K L S Oh, right. Let's see, exact opposite. So we're, we want to remove. Uh, what's wrong here? I like this. It's gonna be alerts. Where are you from, Cersei? Nice. This should work. Now let's. Let's, let's add the input here. Input. And let's see. See how, if it's like super, is it super slow? I, I don't think it'll be slow. So we get the right answer for the test and I think we should be getting the right answer here, but Let's see. Let's see if it runs super slowly also. Oh no. Yeah, I forgot to remove the traces here. Let's see. Two seven nine eight. Let's check if it's right. All right, we got the first one in half an hour only. It's been fast today. Let's continue to part two. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Always nice to get the first one. You know, at least you're. Which ingredient contains which allergen? Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your canonical dangerous ingredient list? Damn. Yeah, okay, now we have the. Okay, so I mean, yeah, 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 and we figured this out. Arrange ingredients alphabetically by their allergen and separate them by commas to, con to produce your canonical dangerous ingredient list. Okay. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. So we already have the possibilities. Um, oh, alphabetically by allergen, right? Not by their name. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we can do this. Now, we have the possibilities here. Let's just, uh, you know, let's just, let's just look at that. Let's see how fast this runs, actually, like, on the second try. 34 milliseconds. I mean, that's... As fast. 
So now we're gonna be looking at a essentially a constraint solver. But we are going to kind of bank on the fact that the input will kind of never it will never be degenerate. Like we will always have like one ingredient will be one of the results. Like here, and then we're just gonna remove that from the rest. Okay, so solve gonna take a map of string of set of strings map string to set of string okay so first of all now solve uh, now we're gonna be looking in the map and we're gonna be applying a function to the elements of the map uh, data dot map And we're going to see here. Um, Okay, so solve uh, pause equals. Okay, so now we're gonna say where. So we're gonna say a single only one pause is gonna be map dot filter. Uh, uh, so we're gonna. This is gonna be. So we're gonna say. It, that you know uh, one is equal to set set dot size so we're gonna say you know the set of dot size should be one right of pause um, <laughs> okay and then we are going to say uh, so pause this is gonna be uh, adjust right adjust uh, and this is gonna be um, we're gonna say you know map dot okay so we filter here filter Uh, okay, partition. Only one. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be one uh, and more. So we're gonna partition the set. Actually, map dot partition with uh, you know the this. We're gonna map partition it this way. So you know. The first map contains all elements that satisfy the predicate, and the second contains elements that fail the predicate, right? So... So we have one and more, okay, and then we're gonna say uh, remove ones from the more, right? So we're gonna say map.map dot map. Uh, We're gonna say, you know... Um, so one, so all of the ones we figured out, so uh, ones is gonna be, is gonna be the set of unions of a, of a map, of set of, of, of map dot lms of ones, one, okay? So these are a lot of single ones, and now we remove those from the mores. So we say, uh, this is gonna be, a, you know, the, we're gonna remove set dot difference of, of the one we're looking at, and we're gonna remove the ones, the single, all the single elements from it, right? 
Okay, and that's gonna be we're gonna map out that over the more So and this is gonna be you know map dot merge uh, Or you can we say union map dot what's it what's merge here? Unsafe, uh, okay, uh, but that's okay Um Oh, we can just say unions. Okay, so we're, we're gonna say, you know, map that union of the one. You know, the the one map and it's gonna be, it's not gonna be tail recursive, but that's gonna be fine. Uh, solve the mood ones. Um, uh, map union and, and map dot union. And what is it complaining about? It doesn't like this because map. Did you map? Yeah, I mean I fixed it already, right? It just didn't pick up my fix for some reason. Okay, now let's say uh, solve possibilities. Ding 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 Is it is it being super slow? I think it might be super slow right now. I think it's because we didn't we didn't do Hit recursion here. So okay, let's do it. Let's do that. It's gonna be a solve prime so far. Uh, buzz. It's gonna be a solve. Map dot union. So we have all of these in here. Where? Uh, we don't need it. Uh, where's here actually? Uh, so so map a union uh, one and, and uh, so far it's gonna be the new and the uh, more no on the removed ones. Just gonna be it's gonna be solve. Prime uh, is going to be solve prime of uh, map dot empty, and then what? What is it complaining about now? Solve is applied to too many few arguments. Yeah. Okay. Mm, this is possible like this. Let's write something else, you know? It's just, uh, it's just linking. It's taking so long to link. I think that's the issue here. So we're not even started, right? Uh, that's a problem. Let's see. See what happens. Let's see what's happening. Why are you taking so long? Okay, so it's all it already Okay. It already linked, but like why is it why is it not printing out starting, you know? It's just not printing anything first. Let's see. Let's see. Um, 
No. I need to do this again. Sounded like something fell in my room. Always scary, you know? What? Why isn't it just doing anything? What's what's the issue here? Okay, so so GCID is just screwed for some reason. No, oh, it's linking. Okay, this runs. I mean, and it's also, it shouldn't be taking that long to just print, solve the possibilities for just a test input, right? There's something going on here, you know? Something weird going on here. Does anyone spot anything weird? I, I can't see. Okay, let me just restart the whole editor. Okay, I think I think maybe that's that was something. Let's see. Compiling and linking. What is going on? Like, why is it so slow? I mean, it's not even just, it's not even printing starting. You know, it's just doing the, the you know. <sighs> Okay, let's see here. All right, well, let's, let's just make it print anything. Okay, so it gets into a loop. Oh. Makes sense. So if it is... So we have to say solve prime of so far and pause in case... You know, uh, the size of pause. So map.null pause equals so far like this. I'm just irritated that it didn't it didn't show any didn't show anything right okay but I figured out which is which yeah we just didn't have the loop we just didn't have a base case right it's not good okay now let's solve for the input I wasn't that slow right Okay, so we get the uh, we get the list, and like even if we print all of it, it's in 243 milliseconds. I mean, we could do better, but you know this is fine. I think um, now we are going to say uh, this is supposed to be a. 
Less to strings. Okay, so we say uh, sol equals sol map. Okay, so now we got the solution. Uh, now sol to output. That's gonna take a map of string and set of string. Uh, what it's actually going to do, and it's going to return a string, right? So what's solved to output? Now all of these are going to have length 1, right? So we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to say map. It's going to be uh, map.asox. So, uh, where a socks equals map dot socks of MP is going to be map, map of associations of map, right? So it's going to be a list of key comma values. Uh, now we're going to map over that map uh, map. Uh, so we're going to take you know a list of key comma vowels. This is going to be a set, uh, but we are just going to like. You know, take the we'll go like take the for, like take the root of the set uh, data dot set. Uh, I think you can just say root, and it will just give you like if there's just one element, then it can you can just get that element uh, root. Ding, 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 split root. Uh, no, I don't want split root. Well, I want. Find index lm at uh, how do I just get like a uh, like the, just the first one? Uh, let's find. I'll just do find min. You know, and it's gonna be k comma find min of p. Now we're gonna say a uh, sort by a compare on first and we're gonna map second of this right so we're gonna you know get them in alphabetical order and then we're gonna say map second and then we have them all in the second so let's just return those like string uh, uh, asox um, I'm supposed to. I think I should be okay doing this. Solve to output. Uh, so this is all in data list and data function. So let's import those. Import data list. Import data function. And it doesn't like this because I don't have a dollar here. Now it doesn't like this because I, you know, I, I could be a bifunctor, you know, but I'm not going to use a bifunctor here. That would be too much. Solve to output. Let's see. Uh, okay, we still have the traces. Bring, 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 bring. Let's see. Uh, no, what? What? Trace show ID. Yeah, let's remove these. Remove these now. Uh, we we'll save. Now it's not. It's, okay, so find win. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is uh, set dot find win, right? Oh, she's running the same thing again uh, earlier. Okay, now. Exactly so, and then we should join that by a comma. Uh, Google, so intercalate, I think it's called. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, so we can just say. Uh, intercalate comma the 
dollar. Uh, like this? No. What? What's wrong with this? Yeah, this returns the string, right? And this is just like this. Okay, I think I think we got it. I think we got it right now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is exactly the string for the test input. Now let's get it for the real input. Oops. No. All right, compiling and running. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's run it again. 43 milliseconds and we got this. Let's check it. We got it. Whoop, whoop. And you know, we didn't do any performance optimizations and we're still 43 milliseconds, which is, that's just how long it takes to boot the DTRTS, right? So, so we're good. We did this one in 0 0.1, like we say in Iceland, or 0 1. Null etni, what we say. Uh, pretty good, I think. Just some, you know, just a, you know, but like this is also the cheat we're using that we know we can kind of constraint solve by because we know that there's always, always going to be one that maps to exactly one, right? We don't have to do like a pairwise constraint solve, so we're we're always cheating with with by knowing that they're going to be generating the input such that you can do this thing, which is yeah, which is a bit odd, but you know, it's cool. Okay, let's add a day twenty one at HS input and test input get diff head. What did I do with the day 16? Um, I added a new line. Okay. Get commit am uh, day 21. Get push. All right. So we solved day 21. I thought it would be way harder. I thought like the, I thought like the, that the, like the difficulty level will jump up again on day 21. Uh, have the previous days been hard to me? How is, how are days, you know, 17 through 20, like last three days? Were they hard? I know Timmy does these, so. He should have a, an answer. I hope he's typing it right now. I'm waiting for him to type it. Okay, it was a monster. Uh, we can look at uh, let's look at day 17. I, I don't know if I if I want to I, I can I can stream for like a half an hour more and then I'm gonna See something else, but uh, Let's check day 17 Set of Conway cubes do, 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 do. What? <sighs> what? Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard, I mean, but like Conway cubes? Oh yeah, someone told me on Twitter, I remember that. This was like a, another, another one of those Game of Life things, right? Looks at his neighbors, some of that stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna. Like, it's not. It doesn't. It's not like hard. It's just. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like doing it right now. Let's. Let's check out. I just want to see what the other days are. You know. What we'll be dealing with later. Oof. Eesh. Okay, we're doing expressions. Expression order, right? Like this is. This is literally what we were doing before. So yeah, part four is in two is in four dimensions. I mean, don't we just add one coordinate and then like update it again? You know, like I don't want to do anything where I like have to do linear interpolation figuring out. I just do it right. 
now okay uh, addition still finds some yeah okay okay but the operator presence has changed rather than evaluating multiplication before addition the operators have the same precedence and are evaluated left to right regardless of the order in which they appear a what okay i mean uh, okay let's uh let's let's just do day 18. i think i think we can do a day 18 right now uh let me let me just take a i'm gonna i'm gonna switch to the intro i'm like i switch the intro stop the recording then start the recording again because then i can more easily do this let's see are you ready